Hey everyone, welcome in a new episode of Steven's Week, the weekly update on marketing and technology. Welcome in the show, my friend. Facebook is launching Messenger Kids, which is a communication platform for children younger than 13. As you know, officially you need to be 13 to be a member of Facebook. Um, but of course they feel that many kids that are 11, 12 or, or early 13, they wanna communicate with their buddies and their friends. And now Facebook wants to facilitate this in a safe way. So you actually use the account of your parents and you can like under their umbrella, you can use Messenger. And it's an adapted version of Messenger where you have uh, no advertising, for instance, and where you have uh, very appropriate stickers and emojis and everything. So it's fully kit adapted. And of course, this is smart by Facebook, I think, because they're uh, teaching children how to communicate in Messenger when they're still young. So there's a big chance if they do that, that they're first choice of messaging platform will be Facebook Messenger once they can create their own account. During the Winter Olympics in South Korea, um, they're gonna have robot volunteers uh, and usually you have human volunteers and they're still gonna have human volunteers, but they're gonna add robots to that, but it's still gonna be, you know, a little bit uh, limited. But uh, if we think about the Olympics in 2020 in Japan, those guys are really robot savvy and they're preparing to install a whole village of robots to help people guide around and to make sure they have full automated driverless cars. So again, the rise of the robots is happening at the Olympics. I'm sure you remember AlphaGo. Um, AlphaGo was the machine developed by Google DeepMind that won from Go, the world champion, and that became world famous. And a few weeks ago I mentioned in my weeklies that um, AlphaGo Zero was launched and this was the first form of unsupervised learning where the machine won from the previous machine uh, without any human guidance, without any human data. So that was a big move. And now they said, hey, Go is really difficult, we know, but let's try to teach this machine to learn chess. Um, and it basically took AlphaGo Zero four hours to become better than any machine in the past and it surpassed all human knowledge of chess that we gathered in the last hundred years. It took the machine four hours to reach that level. An Amazon Show is like the Alexa device with a screen. Um, now Google doesn't allow Amazon to pull out or to use YouTube videos anymore because YouTube um, is part of Google obviously and the rumor goes that Google will come out with a smart speaker with a screen and then they wanna have the monopoly, I guess, over, over YouTube content. So you feel how the tension between those tech giants is, is firing up, and it's really interesting to follow that battle. This is a strange uh, story. China is launching the first electric cargo ship, so fully electric, and guess what the first load will be? they will move coal around the planet. So that's a paradox there. Ford is working on a deal with Alibaba in China to direct sell its cars to Chinese people through Alibaba. Uh, they're gonna work with an online form, of course, to direct sell, but they're also gonna create pop-up vending machines. Uh, and this is another example of a huge, let's say, company without a digital DNA that is now moving forward and is partnering up with the big, big tech platforms around the world, which is an essential strategy to get ready for the day after tomorrow. Google is appointing 10,000 human workers to make sure that the extremist content is being removed from uh, from YouTube uh, because this is extremely important both for Facebook and for Google and all big platforms to make sure that the content on their platforms is is just good and positive uh, content so they're hiring 10,000 humans to make sure that they keep the extremist content out. So this was my weekly video uh, as you see I'm here on a Christmas market I'm actually in Tallinn in Estonia I gave a presentation here today um, I've been here many times and it's actually the first time that I got a few hours to walk around and enjoy this beautiful old city center so that's what I'm gonna do now. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video, enjoy your weekend, and please share the video with others. I'm getting closer to the 10,000 followers, so all help is appreciated. Thanks a lot, and see you again next week. Bye-bye.